morning, good afternoon, good evening, my fellow YouTubers. Welcome to another edition of uh, Living uh, Simply and Fun. I'm your host, Aries. This is Aaron, and this is Moppy. Now, we're apologizing for yesterday's video. We didn't get around to making one. We were just so doggone tired from all our shopping. Yes, yeah, so it was a very busy day, and uh, we were just terribly exhausted, so... We came home and took a nap, woke up too late, had a late, late dinner. As soon as dinner was over, we went on our ways and went back home and went back to bed. <laughs> so, we didn't get a video yesterday. Uh, sorry. <laughs> so, anyways, today uh, we decided to go out for lunch. And uh, Rita got herself a rotisserie chicken from the local grocery store. Really good. It's for $5, it's going to feed me for three meals. They got it from the IGA. We, we can't go to the other one in town. Uh, We've been they, 86 because of this little guy here. He's they they said dog. he was a health code violation, but he is a service dog. So, um, yes, he they is. kicked us out for it, though. So, I, And even though they said if I came back with him with a coat, because at the time I didn't have a coat, they'd allow us back in. And they said without him we could come back in, but then they threw Rita out the next day even though there was no dog with her. So, um, so now we go to the IGA and we go to Walmart and say So she had a rotisserie chicken and I got an uh, eight piece bucket basically of uh, KFC style fried chicken. Um, which uh, it's pretty decent, a heck of a lot cheaper than KFC's, but it was still seven dollars. And Rita's was uh, seven dollars because she got a two liter. Uh, six dollars. Rita's was six dollars, and that was with the uh, two liter of soda too. So tonight for uh, dinner we had leftovers from that, and Rita had this to go alongside. Uh, and uh, my thoughts were it's not not worth the dollar, even though it's only worth a dollar. Uh, really it's only worth uh, a quarter. Yeah, it, it just wasn't very good. And what do you have to say, it, Matt? It was, it was, I, I say it was really, really uh, nasty, and I wouldn't uh, eat again. It was nasty. A, a lot of the nor pasta sides uh, and rice sides seem to have this unique flavor to it that is uniquely nor. Yeah, and I can't call it anything other than nor seasoning, and it was extremely heavy in that. So. It, it's like toothpaste. Toothpaste is nasty, too. <laughs> Moppy. So, um, I don't really know what else to talk about. Uh, we, we had some hodgepodge ideas that we were talking about today. Uh, again, not really on the fun side of things, but uh, the, one of the things we were talking about was uh, the wo a woman today who got uh, shot yesterday. Was, was yesterday, right? Yes, yesterday in D.C. It's a little political on this, uh, but uh, I, I'd heard that uh, the Congress, or was it Senate? It was Congress and Senate. They, like, they did a, a, like a news conference where they applauded this woman's murder. Eyes. And from what my understanding is she was unarmed and she was driving in an area she wasn't supposed to be and they killed her. Um, schizophrenia. Woman. Apparently she was schizophrenic. But my, the reason I bring this up is 20 years ago, um, with this happened, what would have happened was they would have stopped her car. And if she wouldn't stop, they'd give her a chase. And then when her car stopped, they... they Whoops. Sorry, Moppy. I'm they'd... Uh, they would have made her get on the ground and everything. They would not have shot first and asked questions later. Uh, they would have found a way to get the situation taken care of. I mean, she was unarmed. It's not like she was going to shoot him. They thought she was armed, but that's because they were shooting at her, and that's how the reports came through. But 20 years ago, they would have stopped her, and they would have said, you know you were going in an area that you weren't supposed to be in. What were you doing back there? And... Uh, if she uh, came out as schizophrenic or whatever she said, the, if it raised questions, they would have probably arrested her and they probably would have tried her for it and she probably would have ended up going to a mental hospital or something. Today's day and age, instead of any of that, she ends up getting killed and our government applauds it. 
Uh, and that just shows how afraid the government is of the people anymore. Uh, they applaud the murder of a woman who is unarmed. Uh, and I just think that's terrible. So, um, uh, I agree uh, completely on it. The other thing I was going to say that... I, I mean, it really scares me if the government has a right to shoot anyone. Uh, I mean... It, it, this comes off as an unarmed woman with schizophrenia who is driving in an area she shouldn't be. I mean, what what if you're walking down to say the streets of your city and you gotta go to the bathroom and there's no place to go, so you go down an alleyway and some officer sees you in the alleyway and says, "Huh, there's not supposed to be anybody back there," and then they open fire on you because they consider you in a position that you shouldn't be. Well, this just justified that they can kill anybody that they find in an area that they don't think they belong. And it, instead of being in trouble for it, they get applauded for it. I think that's terrible, too. Um, another fun thing today is I did my laundry. When I was doing my laundry, my uh, neighbor <laughs> gave me this book and told me if I want to order through Swan's New Tastes, new taste that I can so and they'll deliver to me and they got an app on the on the back too where I could um, you know so I've been looking it over carefully looking over a few things here and there to order you know some of it's very good they got some nice desserts and stuff so uh, yeah pizzas desserts you name it so however I am a little disturbed about something though on here and right, right there. there. E if you could read that, it says EBT, Electronic Balance Transfer, which means they accept food stamps. And uh, it says right there in the back they accept food stamps. And for uh, uh, for meals, they're they're charging twenty three dollars, twenty two dollars, seventeen dollars, uh, another twenty two dollars, forty dollars, thirty dollars. Uh, fourteen dollars. I'm not finding much in here under ten dollars. This stuff is expensive food, and no one, no one on EBT should be buying from Schwanz. I'm sorry. This is like gourmet microwave food, and I consider all microwave food essentially crap. I know you could do this in the oven too, and that might not be bad. There are some things I do that are so-called microwave food that I do in. Uh, you know, in the They, the they oven, accept but. Visa, MasterCard, Discover, American Express, the Schwann's Pay, and Schwann's gift cards, and uh, electronic food stamp cards, EBT. Yes. This is right here. I know. And then the other things don't matter. Those are standard. You'd expect them to accept their own cards, too. But I'm, I'm sorry. The people out there complain about how, Oh, he's on food stamps, and look at him. He's abusing the system. He's buying steak and stuff. This just makes me mad because this is exactly what people are talking about. Anybody who's on food stamps who are using their food stamps for that shouldn't be on food stamps. I'm sorry. When one of those meals cost you $24, you could have gotten 20 packages of hot dogs and eaten for a month almost on it. I, I'm sorry that... It's just terribly, terribly, terribly wrong, the pricings in there, and the fact that they allow EBT. Let me put it to you this way, because we're doing a video about food a lot. Is I get the flack, um, and he knows it, through different channels on Facebook. When I go out and I buy four steaks or eight steaks, and I have it for the month, and then I get the flack, because yeah. they say it's too expensive. When, yeah. when for example, right here... Whoa, careful of the tail. Sorry, right here, he it, says, it says, Rancher Reserve Beef Loin T-Bones. Right there, look at it, look at the price. Well, for instance, we just took advantage of this deal. The Right here, it's uh, uh, Rancher's Reserve Beef Top Round London Broil. Uh, $2.99 a pound. We got two of them in a twin pack for about $8.00. That'll last us four meals. Four for eight dollars. That's two dollars a meal. Sixteen dollars is what I paid for for both of it, I believe. I, I can't remember. No, it was closer to ten at least. Oh. I thought it was a little under that. Eight. Well, then you're That's right. That's what then. I thought. So, uh, 
your steaks that you got were a little more expensive, but that was your choice because you went with these T-bones at four ninety nine a pound, and you got four of them in a package, and they were about uh, four and a half pounds. So you paid about uh, eighteen to twenty dollars a package. Yes, but the thing is, that's is, what you're thinking about for the price. Yeah. Okay. And um, all I wanted to say is we took advantage. Now I do want to say this, although the, this is all sorts of meat sales and stuff. Uh, Beef bottom round steaks, and there's various other steaks, uh, flank steaks, etc., that you could get very cheap for like two thirty eight for a pound and a half. It's like a dollar ninety nine a pound for some. So not all steaks that a person buys are expensive. The word steak should not all of a sudden make us think, ooh, fifteen dollars right there. It should end up being to the point that we sit there and think, you know, steak. There's various different cuts. What type did they have? Because there's some cuts that are very affordable, uh, albeit a little bit tough, or, uh, you know, has more sinews in it or something, or higher fat content, whereas some are very, 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 very expensive. So, uh, unfortunately, people don't seem to think about that stuff, uh, which I think they should. So. Yes, I agree completely. And the thing is, people need to realize we go and we actually look for deals and stuff, like here, and we try to take advantage of it, and uh, and that's how we do it. I mean, so what? What? So what if we end up with, say, a couple more London broils or some more steak? Big deal. We eat. Yeah, in for fact, a month. we spent, I think, a total of about eighty dollars each on our food for last month. So the one hundred sixty dollars between the two of us for. Breakfast, lunches, and dinners, okay? That, that is a real cheap amount to get away with for, you know, 90 meals. We actually had leftovers from that that cover the entire month of this month for our main courses. We got a few things to add to it, but we haven't gone over, which means we can afford a few nicer things because we do have these other leftover things. Th this month, if we wanted to, we could have bought lobster and prime rib, and not bought anything else and still have been under our food uh, bill cost for last month. Uh, however, next month we'd have to buy all our stuff again because we would have run out. Um, so, anyways, thanks for listening.